Uh, so, I don't do a lot of these videos, despite my obsession, but what you're looking at here is a standard all steel branded four drawer filing cabinet. And uh, <laughs> what you're looking at here is something special. <laughs> Holy cow. This is also made by all steel. As you can see, it's the same height, similar depth, but boy, it is a chonker. <laughs> so this is 20 inches wide and 15 and a half inches tall. I don't know, I guess, how big a standard letter size filing cabinet drawer is. Don't really think about that normally, so we'll measure it. Yeah, about 13 and a half by uh, 11 and a quarter. So, yeah, these things are massive. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I could almost fit in there if I wanted to. I could sit in there at minimum. All the filing cabinet probably tip over. <laughs> but this thing's nuts. And I haven't had a chance to research it yet. I kind of bought it just because I don't have one. <laughs> and my understanding is, is this is like for executive size paper, whatever in the world that means. But, uh, gosh, I just can't get over how big this thing is. So just as a example, I'm gonna hover my foot over the drawer. That's a size 12 work boot. <laughs> I could fit quite a few of them in there if I wanted to make this my boot storage. <laughs> also, I guess a hand for reference, although let's see if I can get the camera. I don't think my arms are long enough. <laughs> uh, we'll use this chameleon tape measure. <laughs> it's just tiny in there. I think it's one of those little miniature tape measures. You take one of these as a reference, and uh, yeah, they're just small. The only bummer about this thing is it does kind of shimmy and shake. So, despite it being an older all steel filing cabinet, it's uh, not built up to the standards I'm used to with these, but. I think a lot of that comes down to the fact that they used a lot of the same design aspects as their smaller ones, but since it's physically bigger, there's just more room for it to shift and more uh, leverage if you push on it for it to kind of deform and as you can see the gap there is changing as I push on the corner. but. The rollers are fairly nice, and uh, yeah, I don't know what the fate of this cabinet is quite yet. It's just, it's over the top, and um, I think it's in fairly good shape. Yeah, back's fairly clean, side's fairly clean. It's kind of a weird collector's item hobby thing for me, even though I don't know where it's going. <laughs> Really, the worst damage on this is right here that I've seen. I may end up selling this one in all honesty, but uh thought it'd be interesting to share because you don't really see much of these, and I'm kind of curious to see what my research comes up with once I uh, get to that point. But either way, hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.